is a must-win third set for the HD Spikers. Serving for six. mentioned earlier, both teams are coming off games yesterday. So aside from prioritizing rest, there's a common theme for both teams, and that is to be intentional. So I'll start with Erica Staunton. This has been her theme since yesterday's game, but right now it's important to be intentional against Signal, to be very aware of their block, to stay aggressive all around, and of course, to be intentional playing against someone as experienced and as skilled as MJ Perez. Now over on the side of MJ Perez, she did let me know that the last game they played against the Cool Smashers was really heartbreaking for her. She said it was harsh and it was something that she didn't feel good about at all. She felt like they could have finished that ball but they did not and that's something that she will be intentional about tonight. Every point, every set, every opportunity given to her, she will go all out so that she can help her team reach their end goal. Invitational conference of Bernadette Pons, and she told me that she is very excited to go up against the team. Sabini Pons, they have a very good grassroots program. Kaya naman, even if they are young, they are able to play very well. Now, for the Cool Smashers, they only had a team dinner after winning the reinforced conference championship a few days ago. And yesterday, they had their own individual training. Walang court training, so they can still recover and be fresh for today. Sabi nga ng kanilang MVP, they will just focus on playing their game as a team. So let's see if Creamline can continue their momentum from their championship. Let me tell you, they are playing with a fierce sense of unfinished business on their minds. After the heartbreaking miss of the finals last week, Captain Cesc Molina, who we saw pour her heart out in that bronze medal run, told me that they're far from done fighting and they still have their eyes set firmly on the prize. Quento Ngane says, we have to believe that this is our moment. There's no denying how tired we are, pero it's another chance to go for gold. Something that we're still longing for as a franchise. And her leadership continues to be the anchor for the team and this conference could finally be their chance to break through. So don't miss a single spike and catch all the action. For the Cool Smashers. Yeah, that set was a bit... Clear reminders, very uh, direct reminders. We... Uh... By Michelle Gumabao, Machine Gun MG. It's not too long in the service the second set. But Cesc Molina has been a big problem still here. We have Ella De Jesus on your screen, break for them. That's gonna be a service error. I think you can sense that Signal does not... It's every time it's given to her. A little shaky with the Foxies, but ending it right away. Arriba Amiga with a cross-court kill. Now we have... You learn how to stop Suzuki on the other side of the court. Of course, uh, Michelle Gumaba. Of course, errors, but again, created setter Jel Cayuna told me, ibang iba pa. A game here, Jackie Acuna now with nine points. Yeah, back then, because they were still enjoying Sir. of this squad. Not forget that the last time. Yes, <laughs> and we heard a really shout. You're watching fire there. Well, I'm sure in that huddle, there's some words. We'll force her to be smarter in her attacks, not going just for powerful. Go, signal! Uh, the fans' favorite cream line. He is back, but says Molina, the rest of the HD spike. Well, if you have tall blockers. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Second referee, Mr. Joffer Educado. And now the starters. First, by Cool Smashers. Opposite hitter from Dallas South University, number seven, interim team captain, Michelle Gumabao. Center from the Far Eastern University, number one, Kyle Negrito. Middle blocker from the College of St. Vanil, number six, Pangs Panaga. Middle blocker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 14, Bea de Leon. Outside spiker from FEU, number 19, Bernadette Pons. 
Outside spiker from the USA, number 22, Erica Staunton. Starting the barrel from FEU, number 11, Kyla Atienza. And coach for Creamline is Sherwin Meneses. And now the starters for the Signal HD Spikers. Outside Spiker from San Pedro University, number 7, team captain, Cesc Molina. Opposite hitter from the Far Eastern University, number 10, Chin Chin Basas. Middle blogger from the National University, number 11, Jackie Acuna. Outside Spiker from Venezuela, numero 15, Maria Perez. Middle blogger from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, Ria Mendeses. Center from FEU, number 22, Jill Cayuna. Starting the barrel from the University of the East, number 9, Judith Abil. Head coach for the HD Spikers is Shaq De Los Santos. Siyempre, um, ngayon muna, nagpapasalamat kami sa, sa team. Siyempre, kay Lord na natapos yung game ngayon ng maganda, malinis, and maayos, maaga natapos. So, ngayon, kailangan lang namin magpahinga uh, muna, makarecover talaga. Kasi yun niya, tomorrow, importante talaga. And walang time para makapag-prepare. So, yun, recovery lang. Tapos, yun, Kanya-kanya naman po kami yung nag-scout. And hintay namin, panonood, papanoorin namin yung game na to. Yung sila po yung mga kalaman. Tawala naman po ako sa kikotse. Siyempre, tawala po kay kotse. Kasi yung sistema nga niyan, hindi naman po yun nababago eh. I mean, for ilang years, yun na po yun. So, for sure, hindi naman po para mag-adjust talaga lahat kung meron man akong mawala. So, yun, yeah, and yung mga natira naman po, Eh, magagaling na atleta naman na po sila. Ano mo yun, si, kanya, sa kanya-kanyang school, sila po ang nagdadala. So, hindi naman talaga parang, alam mo yun, mag-training ng sobra-sobra. Kailangan lang talaga mas magkaroon lang ng connection, which is nagawa naman ni, nila nung nawala po kami. One, yung, yung rest ng mga players na nagdagan, uh, medyo dikit-dikit talaga yung game. So, thankful kami at uh, nakuha namin yung panalo before maglaro kami bukas. Siyempre, yung, yung laban talaga, bukas pa mangyayari. So, sana maging maganda yung leasing namin. Gemma, welcome back. Ano lang din yung feeling na yun, kakabalik mo lang as player of the game agad. Kamusta yung mga naging adjustments mo pagbalik mo dito sa team? Um, Siyempre, happy po na nakabalik ulit sa cream line. Eh, yung adjustment naman po, siguro hindi naman na sobrang mag adjust kasi Palagi naman namin pong ginagawa yung, yung training sa amin. Yung sistema, sistema naman po hindi na bago. So, yun. <laughs> Nandun naman siya palagi. Opo, nandun naman po palagi. Uh, of course, we want to win. We, the, we, um, uh, we, we are so happy that we, we get this win, especially that we have done now. It's a huge contribution for the team. And uh, of course, I, I am motivated because I want uh, we we get this um, this chance to play the final. Uh, our team deserved it. Deserved this. Shepherd, very proud of the team. And um, yung gigil ko kanina. <laughs> ano yon? Na ipon kasi alam mo yung pag nanonot ka ng game from the outside, kasi hindi ka makalaro, hindi ka makakontribute. Parang ngayon ko binubuhos lahat yon yung gigil ko. And thankfully, nag-result uh, nag, nag, ano ng maganda. 